So you can post every day on your salon social media, you can have a big advertising budget and you can have a killer salon website. But if you're not getting your salon's branding right, you will always be limiting the efforts of all your other marketing strategies. In fact, this is the one marketing strategy that really changes everything. So in this video, I want to lead you through everything that goes into the brand strategy for your salon so that you can improve the image and portray your salon the way it should be. So if this is the first time we meet, my name is John Halberg and I run the salonbusiness.com as well as this YouTube channel where I share the best ideas and strategies for how you can attract more clients and ultimately grow your salon business. So if you're serious about growing your business, make sure you smash that subscribe button and notification bell. This way you will be notified every time I release new content on this channel. So running a salon business really means running a premium brand and sometimes even a luxury brand. You know, not everyone can afford your services but it's really a premium type of service. So you need to make sure that the image of your salon reflects that and that you have a premium position and a premium brand experience around your salon. And this all starts with having a clear brand strategy for your salon. But what is a brand? You know, branding is a concept that has been around for a long time. I mean, it started, you know, 5,000 years ago or so where people marked their animals in order to show you know who was the owner of the animal so that no one else would take it and that's kind of where the concept of branding started but you know branding is so much more than that today right um, i think the best definition i've heard of what a brand is is jeff bezos who said uh, a brand is really what people are saying about you when you're not in the room because th th it's kind of like hard to define exactly what a brand is it's because it is it is the emotional uh, connection that people have with your business or with your salon um, based on everything they see and they hear and they experience from you that creates an emotional perception with them. And that emotional perception is your brand. That's you know, how you are perceived. So your salon's brand isn't just a logo or a tagline or you know, the colors you choose. All these different things, they play into creating a perception of you and who you are. But in order to be clear on you know, what colors to use or how you should look and what, you sh what your logo should be like, you need to first be clear on your brand strategy. And why am I saying then that a brand is so important? So there's many reasons why you really need to care about your brand. You know, first, it's impossible to really attract the type of client you want unless your brand is attractive to that client, right? Your salon's brand need to resonate with the person that you're trying to attract. Like you cannot attract a high spending client when looking cheap, or you cannot attract the trendsetter client if you look too conservative and so on. So you need to make sure that the brand and the brand strategy that you have is really designed to attract the ideal client that you want in the chair. Your salon's brand helps you stand out from competition. You know, if you run a nail salon, I'm sure there's many nail salons in your area, but what is it about you that is unique? Why do you stand out? You know, what's the, why would people talk about you? You know, what is it that is unique about you? That goes into your brand and your brand communicates that. And when you have a clear brand, you're offering more than just, you know, the services that you have. You know, take uh, Chanel as an example. You know, people don't buy a Chanel bag because they want the bag to carry their phone, right? They buy a Chanel and they buy into that overall experience that the brand offers. And you can do the same in your salon. You can charge more and premiumize your offer when you have a clear brand strategy and a brand experience that people buy into. They don't just buy into, you know, solving the problem that they have, you know, the nails or the hair. They buy into your overall concept and your overall philosophy as a brand and as a salon. And finally, it makes you recognizable. So when you're clear in your brand strategy, you have your visual assets, you have your logo, you have all the other components that goes into your visual assets, that makes you recognizable. So if you run an ad, for example, or if you're visible in, in another place, you know, people will recognize you because they see you there, they see your salon, and it all comes together, which will all amplify your marketing as well, because people will recognize you over time and you will build your reputation, which also makes it easier for you to attract clients and make all your advertising and marketing activities much more effective as well. And so let's go through the seven different things that goes into your salon's brand um, so that you can help clarify your brand strategy based off that. Point number one, your target client. So in order to effectively craft your salon's brand strategy, you need to be clear on who is your ideal client that you want in the chair. You need to be very clear on who she is, where she lives, how she behaves, what she appreciates, what she doesn't appreciate, what's her aspirations. You know, understanding who she is and having that in front of you will make it much easier for you to make the right choices 
uh, on your brand to make sure that you are relevant and stay relevant with her. Because the thing is, like, you cannot be relevant for everyone. If you try to be, you know, the salon that is perfect for everyone, you're probably not perfect for anyone, right? So you need to make a choice on like, this is the client that I want. Now I want to craft all my communication, all my marketing efforts and everything I do around my salon to make sure that it resonates with her and make her feel that my salon is right for her. The second part that goes into your brand is what you are, you know? If you're a hair salon, if you're a nail salon, if you're a hair salon that does a certain type of services and so on, you know, what you are will influence what your brand is and how you are perceived. And this is a pretty obvious component, but still something you need to be clear on that still goes into your brand strategy and how your brand and your salon will be perceived. And so point number three is your salon's purpose. You know, people don't only buy what you do, they buy why you do it. And if they understand why you do what you do, that will resonate on a much deeper level with them and they will be prepared to spend more with you and to have a closer connection to you than just understanding what you do. You know, they understand that you cut hair, but like, why do you do that? You know, what's your story? Um, you know, getting clear on that is a very important component of elevating the image of your brand so that you're no longer just a hair salon, but you're there for a reason. You have a mission and a vision to go after that all flows into the purpose of your salon's existence. You know, when you start to dig deeper into that, that's really when you can start elevating your, your image of your salon and become a premium and even luxury salon, uh, which is much more difficult without being clear on, you know, what your purpose is in the first place. So point number four, your salon story. So you need to understand the story. Where are you coming from? Obviously, that's linked to your purpose of why you exist. Because the thing is, a premium brand or a luxury salon in particular or a premium salon it doesn't exist because it was launched. It exists because of a consequence of something that happened in the past. You need to be clear on what that is and what is that story that has taken you to where you are today, to where your salon is today. Not until you have that story, that's really when you can start building a rich brand, you know, a, a brand that, that you know, is not just there to cut hair, but it's there because of something that happened in the past and it's much bigger than just a salon, you know? The salon is just a component of your overall story. So you need to be clear on that story that will help you a lot in terms of premiumizing the perception of your image, having that heritage of where you're coming from to talk about in your marketing and you know, in all touch points really around your salon will elevate the perception and image of your salon. So point number five is your values. So that's really like, how are we doing things around here? How do we treat each other and what do we believe in? You know, we believe that color empowers people, maybe if you do nails or, you know, what do you, what do you believe in? Like what comes into like, why do you do what you do? So it's important to be clear on those values and make sure that your staff and everyone working in the salon follows your values as well. Because that's, you know, a strong component of your brand and how your brand is perceived. And point number six, your positioning. So that's the more tactical element of the brand where you look at, okay, other salons in the area, you know, what are you doing differently? Where are you positioned in the market versus the other ones? But it's important to be clear on that positioning and be deliberate about it. So you know, okay, what's the place that my salon is taking in this, in this town, in this city, in this community? You know, what's the role that I want to play uh, within, you know, all the other salons and other businesses in the area? And then finally, point number seven, and that's your brand's personality or your brand's character. So it, it can help really to think about your salon's brand as a person rather than as a salon. And, you know, really think about, is this a, you know, is this person, is it a guy? Uh, is it a cool person? Is it an elegant person? What type of person is this? How would this person talk? You know, what's the accent of this person? Try to really envision your salon as a person and your salon's brand as a person. That will also help you a lot in like, okay, how should I express myself? You know, what's the type of music I should play in the salon? What's the tone of voice my staff should have when they greet people in the in the salon? You know, what should my website look like in terms of language and you know how do I express myself like? What's the personality? So those are the seven things that goes into your salon's brand strategy. So it's important that you're clear on what those means for you, because when you are, that's when you can start working on your brand's identity or your salon's brand identity which basically includes all the visual elements, your logo, your website, your Instagram feed, and your, you know, the, what your salon staff wears, uh, how they treat people, uh, how, you know, what language you use, the type of uh, business card design, you know, you name it. Everything communicates, you know, everything communicates your brand. 
Uh, and in the end, you know, as the salon owner, you're the one in charge. You know, you're the one who makes sure that that brand identity is protected and that the way you're communicating, the way your salon is portrayed, is in line with that strategy and the choices you have made uh, for your salon, right? So you're the guardian of that. You're the guardian of your salon's brand to make sure that it's executed consistently in all these different places and that your salon is perceived in the way that you want it to be perceived. And I get it so many times if we're just starting a salon, it's very easy that we just want to rush into it, you know. We might not think about the brand strategy and target client and purpose and all these different things from start, right? But if you haven't really been through that yet, if you haven't done that exercise, I strongly suggest you take the time and really think through those seven things that I talked about that goes into your salon's brand strategy and you know be true to yourself like are you doing this today are you clear on what this stands for and can you really be the champion of your salon's brand and protect the image and make sure that you execute your brand in a consistent way in the salon and outside the salon as well because you know when you do you will elevate the perception of your image it will be easier to attract clients and to grow your business when you're clear on your brand so just to sum up, the seven different things that goes into your salon brand is first and foremost your, your target client, then what you are as a salon, are you a hair salon, a barbershop, you know, what, what are you? What's your salon's purpose and what's your story that got you to where you are today? Being clear on that story is very important uh, and understanding your heritage because when you use that in your communication, that's a great way to elevate the perception of your image and let people understand why you exist and not just what you do. But that's really when you take the step up and uh, you know elevate the perception and image of your salon. And then we talked about the salon's brand values, um, the positioning of the salon, and finally also the personality or the character of the salon. You know, making sure you're clear on all those that will help you a lot. So I hope you found this video helpful. And in fact, I'm really curious to know, you know, where you are on your brand strategy. Do you feel that you have a brand strategy in place for your salon? If you do, you know, write yes below. Uh, if not, write no. Uh, and maybe a comment on what you're planning to do about it. It would be very helpful to see where you are on that journey so that I know if I should be doing more on this type of material or not. Um, so that's it for today. Uh, again, I hope you find it helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.